What is going on everybody? I thought I'd just make a really quick video here on uh, taking your your dashboard gauge cluster thingy out because uh, normally when I'm, uh, I'm I'm in the process of waxing my car right now and waiting for my wax to cure I was had nothing to do so I was just dusting off my interior because as you guys can see I mean interior is not super dirty I mean I gotta vacuum the seats but like the dashboard and everything it's just dusty you know just like to wipe it off and get things looking clean and um, for a while now this uh, see if I can zoom a little bit these corners here are disgusting I'm not really picking it up on camera this one you can kind of see but dust and gunky disgusting grossness is getting all up in here you know I've tried the brushes I've tried everything to just kind of take care of it but nothing's really worked besides taking the dashboard out and physically wiping it and making it clean and it's it honestly makes a huge difference in the cleanliness look of my car when there's not dust in these little cracks and crevices and disgusting looking stuff so thought I'd make a quick video for those of you who are interested in taking off your dashboard for other reasons like you know modifications and, and LED lights and stuff like that it's extremely simple you just need a uh, oh god is that not a Phillips? I have come unprepared for this. I have brought my mini Phillips, and I do believe that these are Torx heads. So, I will be right back with the right bit to take these off. Alrighty, and we're back. With the correct Torx head bit, it is a T15 for these two little screws right there, right there. So, super easy, just uh, Get a little mini screwdriver and unscrew these. Ooh, I am damn sure trying to do this one-handed on camera. I'm gonna drop a screw into the black pit of despair. So I'm gonna pull both of these out real quick using both my hands so I don't use like lose those and uh, be right back. All right, so both screws are out. The cool little sun rays are in the camera, you know, makes everything look HD. You know, I really don't understand why German cars have to be so different in their Torx screws and their weird ass Torx spec sizes for everything. Like, I mean, just recently I was helping a friend with a, uh, a six gen Camaro take something apart in this car and we got like 90% of the interior done with a panel popper a 10 millimeter and a Phillips head and it was the easiest thing in the world Germans got to be different be like oh well, we're fancy and we're more expensive so we use more expensive tools and things that you can't find in America because fuck you why not but anyways as you guys can see now that this is a uh, these are out you're basically just kind of very carefully getting text messages on your phone so basically when you're taking this out, all you want to do is like wedge your finger in between like the hood and this thingy and push down and your gauge cluster will pull forward. Now, there is going to be a plug back there that you want to be really careful to not, you know, yank and distort in any way. Um, you're gonna, you, you, if you can't get this to come out right, you're gonna be frustrated. You just want the He-Man like, Rah! and rip it out like I did. Don't do that. This plug back here will not appreciate that. But now basically your dashboard just kinda, you know, comes towards you in 3D action. Yes, this is a gigantic pain. But, um, huh. It's been a while since I've actually had to do this. So forgive me if I'm kind of remembering as I go along. You want to like unclip that weird little doohickey here. I think just push this down. And then, there you go, see? You flip the switch and it pulls this cord straight out. Extremely easy. And now you're just left with the daunting task of getting this boy out. What the hell is this stuck on? Oh, yep. Eh. Eh. Come on, you bastard. And there you go. You know, it takes a little bit of 
finessing, but there you go. Now you can just kind of, you know, pop these little side things off and you're into the, the gauge cluster. So for all of you people that want to modify stuff in your gauge cluster, it's extremely simple. And then back there, I kind of, you know, I kind of expected more to be back here, to be honest, but this is how you get your hood off for like wrapping it in Alcantara and like replacing it. There's just some screws back here and then you just kind of yank it out. This thing is how you get into like more steering column stuff. So, you know, just a quick little uh, tutorial on how to do something that'll help you with a lot in the future and helps me clean the inside of this. So now when I put it back, everything looks beautiful again. And there's no super mega dust in any of these gross corners that bug me while I'm driving. One little thing that I wanna add is when you plug that plug back in to your dash and everything, um, it's gonna make a noise like And um, it's just, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I know what it's doing. Um, it's just gonna make a weird noise, but um, let's go ahead and put the keys in real quick and make sure that uh, everything comes up. Uh-oh, I need to reset the clock and everything now. Maybe unplugging that just resets all your shit. I know that my service intervals and stuff like that before when I've undone it have stayed the same, so let's just make sure she dances when we start her. Got my nice service interval in a while. She's yelling at me. Yep, she seems fine to me. We're going to uh, button her up, reset the clock and everything like that, and uh, we're good to go. So just to be sure for all of you um, wondering what exactly gets reset when you do this, there's a bee, there's a bee, there's a bee! Fuck out of here, bee! Um, <laughs> the only thing that it really resets is the clock. Going through here, like, reset the clock, the date is still the same. My check, my check is okay. So everything's still there, it just kind of fucks your clock up and your, your trip counter. So, yeah, that, that's about it. Not the worst thing in the world. And now as you guys can see, ooh, it's all nice and clean in there. It's just a cleaner look. Clean the lens really nicely. I feel better because those little things that I stare at every day just aren't staring me in the face. So yeah, it's, it's super simple, super quick and easy. I mean, as you guys can see, I did this. If I wasn't filming, I would have done this in less than five minutes and put it back. So if you guys are thinking about modding your gauge cluster and stuff like that, super simple to take apart and uh, I hope this helps some of you guys out. But uh, I'm gonna go and wipe the wax off the car now and reveal a super crazy shine. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys for those of you that are interested and uh, end the video there. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so this is the hood and uh, bumper wiped down with the wax. Um, for those of you wondering and asking constantly about my detailing processes because my car looks super clean on camera and stuff all the time, um, I'm just super simple and really run of the mill with it for the time being. Um, really until I get the car looking exactly the way that I want it to look, I'm not going to really mess around with too much machine polishing or ceramic coatings or anything like that. Mainly because uh, like stuff like this, my uh, previous owner went nuts with a, uh, a touch-up pen and uh, <laughs> got me pretty good in multiple spots all over the car. So uh, until I really, you know, go carbon fiber hood or, or something worth ceramic coating and protecting like crazy good, I'm just not really worried about it. I couldn't really be bothered to, to go nuts with my paint. I mean, as far as swirls and crazy things go, I mean, my paint's not the worst with it. I, it's, it's for sure it's got them, but um, it's not, it's not so bad that in the sunlight it looks like I'm driving Spider-Man's car, you know. So um, as far as the process is for, for this detail went uh, yesterday, I was out here for, for a number of hours, um, just kind of decontaminating the car. You know, I used a, a stripper wash to strip off all the old waxes and sealants and stuff that I had on it. 
Um, I like to do that like once every couple of months just to really start fresh and new with um, good coats of everything and uh, so I stripped everything else off I, um, I went over with a regular car shampoo and the foam gun and stuff um, I clayed the car down we've had a lot of construction in the area all the way around us that I've had to drive through unfortunately so got all the contaminants and everything out of the paint so she's super uh, glassy feeling and stuff and uh, this is gonna be the second coat of whoa, whoa, second coat of wax that I'm putting on um, this is obviously a day later because uh, I, don't know, I was out here for so long detailing the car, I just got tired of detailing it and cleaning it yesterday and was running out of sunlight so I'm like I'll just uh, I'll just finish tomorrow and clean the car off again in the morning so I just did a really really quick rinse down wash to get all the dust and everything off and uh, followed up with my my second coat of wax here this is just fucking chemical guys butter wet wax it's just it's what I had laying around so uh, oh I think I've also got a glaze on here as well so there's three coats in total of of protection <laughs> on the car but um, you know just trying to keep her looking nice as nice and I, as I can with all the little defects and stuff here and there so that's just a quick little update on on my process like I said as soon as the car gets better and uh, is in better shape I'll do a little bit more with the detailing process but um, if you guys are interested in in detailing videos and stuff like that let me know because I've got I've been doing this a long time I've got a lot of tips and tricks and things um, I've actually if you guys can see here if I wipe all this uh, this wax off I don't have any water spots or anything on this black trim and with BMWs I know for a fact that the water spots on the trim are really really bad with these cars everybody's got problems with them so if you guys want a video on how I got all my water spots and everything off and kept my trim looking great I'll definitely make a video on that for you guys just let me know but uh yep that's gonna do it for this little video until next time I will see you guys later